don't don't think of the Eclipse as a small private jet. Think of it as a Baron with jet engines. Hey guys, so we're, today we're here in Huntsville, Alabama with my buddy Mark. I'm gonna go fly the Eclipse 500, the world's smallest certified and jet and, and most fuel, fuel efficient. Uh, we're gonna go up to, well we're gonna go to 35,000 today. You can go to 41. We're gonna be doing about 420 miles an hour. And we're gonna head to Orlando for the day. Sure, two, that's Alpha. That's not a good sign. By any chance we can start north just to stay away from the core of this thing? Guys, it's going to be pretty bumpy in the back. Okay, so uh, I'll work the radios. All right, you can go ahead and do the left engine start now if you'd like. We got fuel pressure. In two, fuel flow, light off, oil pressure. Now, if uh, something did go wrong, is there anything you can do or does it just have to stop itself? In theory, it will stop itself, but you can also abort it manually by flipping it back to the off position. Ground Eclipse Jet 202 Echo Alpha Taxi Signature with Foxtrot and we can take a Whiskey 3 departure of traffic permit. Eclipse Jet 202 Echo Alpha Huntsville Ground Runway 18 Right Taxi via Foxtrot Juliet Whiskey. We have a beach hit in the banner on that side. All right, Foxtrot Juliet Whiskey to uh, 18 Right for Eclipse 202 Echo Alpha. And we have kind of a a wide turning radius. So you'll want to lead your turn pretty early. Go ahead and yeah, definitely start hard, much harder. Yeah, all the way to the fore. It taxis like a plane that is much bigger than it really is. You're gonna go left here. Yes, correct. Go ahead and take your left, and then we're gonna make uh, the right turn, and then we'll make a right turn onto Foxtrot. You make your right turn here. Plus this. Uh, that's correct. This one. Yeah, this one. Even those lines up there. Correct. Right there. This is your. It's your turn, okay. Foxtrot. There, I mean, it's, it's really right. wide. You yeah. have to lead your turn a little bit more. You guys all buckled up back there? Certainly. All right, so rotation today is gonna be at 91 knots. Uh, any engine failure or loss of directional control before rotation, we come to a stop. Any engine failure or loss of control after rotation, we go flying. Actually, no matter what, once you rotate, we're going flying. We're heading one to one two zero at one two gust one niner. All right, clear for takeoff. Runway heading uh, runway one eight right. Eclipse two zero turn one. Going to have a uh, bit of a left crosswind, so it will probably feel almost like a like a piston takeoff, and it will take more force. I'll call your rotation, but it's going to take more force than you're expecting. So when I say rotate, just pull until the nose comes up. All right. Go. We got takeoff config okay. All the way up. Alrighty, APR is armed, airspeed's alive. I put some air on there. 60 knots checks. And rotate. There you go. Positive rate. Alright, we're past 120, we can get flaps up. Up, 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 up. Landing gear. Is it not up? But no, the problem is you put it to landing first. So then it was oh. complaining that you were in landing gear. We were full landing flaps without it. Alright, now you can pull back to max continuous. There's sort of a detent, I'll get it for you. There, alright. contact port to see you. Check off at two departure, have a good day. On some departure, Eclipse J202 Echo Alpha 2300, climb at 5000 runway heading. Eclipse 202 Echo Alpha, so departure radar contact, climb maintain 10,000, 10,000, turn left on course, direct Oscar, Tango, Kilo. Alrighty, up to 10,000, direct Valdosta, Eclipse 2 Echo Alpha. Alright, we're now nav, direct to Valdosta. We're gonna go ahead and test out our de-icing system. So we'll go ahead and kick this guy on. 
Got inside boots. Your side looks good too. Mitchell 5676 is going to maintain 3000. Right, 3000, Mitchell 5676. And I guess we can put our. I don't know that we can really do much for VNAV planning right now. We'll just have to wait until we get there. And that's basically it. You can amplify as long as you want. Awesome. Up call, well, I say that, up to 20,000. Alright, 20.8, Eclipse 2, Echo Alpha, have a good day. Five, four, four. Center, Eclipse 2, Echo Alpha, 5,400, climbing at 10,000. Eclipse 2, Echo Alpha, Echo Alpha, Echo Alpha, Eclipse 2, 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 Echo Alpha, If you want, you can dial Eclipse the altitude select to the right, all the way to 230. And we are already in altitude change, so we will not have to press that button again right now. There, but the important part is that Orlando right now still looks fantastic. We'll see if it lasts. Yeah, sort of how I describe it to people as I say, don't don't think of the Eclipse as a small private jet. Think of it as a Baron with jet engines. Yeah. Yeah, it feels a lot like, it flies a lot like a piston, but you definitely get, you know, thrown back in your seat and take off. Which is nice. November 2 Echo Alpha, contact Atlanta Center 134.95. Alright, 34.95, Eclipse 2 Echo Alpha, have a good day. Atlanta Eclipse 2, 202 Echo Alpha, 12000, climb in flight level 230. Eclipse 202 Echo Alpha, Atlanta, need a good rate through 19, please. Alright, good rate through 19, what are you uh, looking for? Anything close to 2000 will be plenty. All right, yeah, well, we can try our best to maintain uh, about 1,500. Is that going to work for you, or we need something else? I think that should work. All right, check off, Roger. Number nine, Papa Alpha, climate. So what we'll do is uh, I will kind of manually kind of tick back the this guy, but we'll just have to do our best to try to maintain 1,500. I wonder if we can see any of the hurricane. If we didn't know there was a hurricane, I probably wouldn't even. Right. Wouldn't have thought of anything. Oh, that's cool. Airbus 530 Alpha. Did you hear that? Airbus test? Oh, that's cool. Atlanta Center, Eclipse Show 202 Echo Alpha, flight level 200, climate 230. Number 202 Echo Alpha, Atlanta Center. Climb and maintain, that's flight level 270. Alright, continue climb 270, Eclipse 2 Echo Alpha. So 1172, I'll climb and maintain, level 30. Alright, wiggle there. Climb and maintain, 310, Eclipse 2 Echo Alpha. November 202 Echo Alpha, climb and maintain, level 340. Continue climb 340, Eclipse 2 Echo Alpha. We got a little weather down by Orlando. And then uh, tomorrow on the way back, there's going to be a little hurricane coming up over here. But uh, it'll probably be fine anyway. So, the coloring scheme on the XM here has two choices. Either sort of an under reports the amount or way over reports the amount. And this is on under reports the amount in terms of the color choice. And by under reports. In other words, that the like base versus composite. No, just the color, like. Here I'll show you. So if I go to XM and I turn, what we're showing technically right now is called the precip type. If I go back to the map, that is the literal Nexrad colors. Okay, but to me. This always makes it look so much worse than it really is. Right. So instead, a lot of us that fly the Eclipse will go down and we'll pick, uh, where is it? Uh, oh, XM6. We'll turn on the precipitation type, LA which in theory gives you what the type of precipitation is rather than the actual radar return. And this will tend to look a lot closer to what the next rad picture would look like, but it's a little bit more muted. I'll start going through all the synoptics and show you kind of how the systems work. 
The screen is kind of an interesting setup. The idea is whatever you, you press between map, FMS, checklist, which I'm pretty sure is an op, uh, system and audio pops up on the left, and then whatever is here moves over to there. So for example, if I hit system, that's going to pop up here, and then the FMS that was over here is going to move over there. So we'll just go through these system synoptics starting all the way, uh, actually let's start on the way left. So these are extra engine parameters. You've got your fuel flow, this is in pounds per hour. Your N2, which is normalized between basically 0 and 100%. Your oil pressure that goes, uh, it's just a scale of 0 to 10. Uh, your oil temperature, which is in degrees C. Then you've got your chip detector, your oil filter detector, and your engine fuel temperature. Um, like, what's the temperature of the of the fuel at the uh, um, the engine uh, intercooler there? Does this have uh, like fuel heaters or? You, well, it has an uh, a fuel oil intercooler, oh, so okay. the oil is cooled by the fuel that feeds back into the engine. I'll show you that when we get to the fuel page. Then you've got um, APR, which is the automatic power reserve. That's uh, defaulted to auto, which means that if we lost an engine during takeoff, it would automatically maximize the amount of power we can get on the other engine uh, up to uh, its limits anytime there's a difference. So you can actually activate APR without uh, without actually shutting down the engine. You can do it with just a difference in throttle. And then there's a link to the electronic circuit breakers that are associated with the engine. Uh, this is our fuel page, so you can see we've got uh, the weight of the fuel uh, in the main tanks and in the header tanks on each side. These are the jet pumps, so these are basically just Venturi-based pumps that are powered by the return flow back from the engine. There are also electronic boost pumps on each side. We have a cross-flow valve that can allow fuel to go from one side to the other that's used to be able to balance um, the fuel if we need to between the two sides. Uh, these are the fuel shutoff valves. Then we have the fuel filters here, so if these were being bypassed, they would turn yellow. And then you've got your engine and its uh, uh, fuel consumption. We also has an estimated amount of fuel that's been used and how much estimated fuel is remaining based on the totalizer as compared with, say, the amount of fuel up there, which is actually measured uh, in real time from the uh, capacitive probes. And then you've got manually your fuel pump controls and the crossfeed, and again, the link to the appropriate electronic circuit breakers. On the electrics page, what you can see is the, uh, the bus is divided between left and right, so we have our left engine is provi providing power for the left aft bus and the left forward bus. The aft buses tend to have heavy power consumers, so like the fuel pumps and that kind of stuff. The forward buses have your avionics and your battery bus has the most critical avionics. And then the right hand side is being driven by the right hand engine. We also have two batteries, a system battery and a start battery. So during normal operation, we see that everything is split left and right. Either generator can power everything on the airplane other than the air conditioner. During the startup process though, uh, what it does is kind of neat. Instead of splitting the bus left and right, it splits the bus forward and aft and leaves all the avionics powered by one battery while the start battery drives the rest. All right, maintain three three zero clips two echo off. Land clips set two zero two echo off. Flight level three five zero. Clips two zero two echo off. That last center hundred. Yeah, so we're just cruising along at thirty five thousand feet, doing Mach point five five. Yeah, three. it's pretty abysmal cruise rate, but we are. We're at ISA plus eleven. Our delta P is eight point two psi right now. Right, so that's the difference between our pressure in here right. and out there. So what what is the force on the door? Is that yeah. where this is going? Um, so the door is probably about like I don't know, two uh, maybe like two feet by four feet. Yep, that's about so right. So about eight square feet. Uh, well, actually, let me just do this in inches. That's twenty four times uh, forty eight. So twenty. That's a uh, thousand square inches. Option 370, what would be the rate of climb? About 8,000 pounds of force on the door. A little more than a thousand square inches, yeah, but 
They're probably just a skirmish over that, but yeah, yeah. So they're probably like eight, yeah, about eight or nine thousand pounds of force on the door. Yeah, which is pretty interesting to think about. And the door opens out, right? It's not like right. it's, it's not like this one has to come in. Being held shut. Option three seven, keep it going. On the same call four one zero. The mechanism is that in the middle you have those bolts that hold it. And then at the edges you have a piano wire hinge, which is pretty wild to think about the sort of ingenuity around a piano wire hinge. And so we got a 6,300 foot cabin altitude up here. So it's about, what is that, 400 and, about 410 miles an hour ish? About 400 uh, yeah, about 400. As hot as it is, it's possible we can find faster speeds up higher, even though that's not typically the case. But the ISA is what's probably going to drive that. So if you wanted to try to climb higher, we could, but they're going to start us down pretty soon anyway, so. Weather here as we get into Florida, and right now we're heading towards, what's OTK? That's Valdosta. Valdosta, uh, to join the Piglet 5 arrival. We're going to Acuna, Matata, Jasmine, Far, Piglet. Uh, all these fun, fun Disney fixes on the way into Orlando. Eclipse, T02 Echo Alpha. Do you think there's any chance we can get direct to Jasmine just to avoid any of that weather that's kind of between uh, Acuna and Matata? Uh, I got a few at once there in the longer one, or 202 Echo Alpha, you wanted uh, direct where now? Direct Jasmine, if there's any chance, just to bypass that weather that's kind of between Hakuna and Matata. Okay, the uh, Jacksonville Center will have you by then, and uh, they'll know much, uh, have a better idea where they want to put you. So, uh, about two more minutes, and make your request with them, please. All right, took off, Roger. I mean, odds are we're going to clear it anyway, but... I mean, it seems like it has been building a little bit, because I think earlier there wasn't that stuff uh, yeah. southwest of Hakuna. Yeah, it's, it's also just funny to call up approach and yeah. ask about uh, uh, whether Hakuna and Matata. <laughs> it means no work. Go to Echo Alpha, contact Jacksonville Center, 125.05, make that request. Echo Alpha, any chance we can get uh, direct Jasmine just to bypass uh, that weather that's kind of between Hakuna and Matata? To Echo Alpha, for now proceed direct Matata, squawk 2631. Alpha is 825, that's the weather between Hakuna and Matata. Can we go to Coral Direct to Matata? Yeah, to keep you behind your company, working on it, sir. Echo Alpha, direct Jasmine down to 270, clip to Echo Alpha. I'm just going to reduce my rate of descent. All right, fine, we'll pull it back, come on. All what right. is MMO? MMO is Mach 0.64. And I think this yellow that we're painting here is that guy right over there. So he should pass off our left-hand side and not be a factor. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty optimistic about this, even as low as we're going to be. November 2, Echo Alpha, safe speed. To Echo Alpha, 219er. Alpha Cross Piglet at 11000 and 250 knots. Call out somebody 299er 4. Alright, uh, which one at 11000? We will be unable 250 knots. November 2 Echo Alpha Cross Piglet at 11000. I'll call out somebody 299er 4. Alright, Piglet at 11, 2994, clips to Echo Alpha. Alright, let's look at the, I'm going to load up the ILS, but if you want to do it in RNAV, we can also do it in RNAV. What was the ceiling? Uh, like 1300 or whatever, but I mean, it's going to be WAS, so I suspect it'll be similar. Either way, we'll go ahead and put in our minimum of 282. Alright, 2837, Eclipse 2, Echo Alpha, have a good day. Center Eclipse Jet Teaser 2 Echo Alpha 17200, sending 111000 to Piglet with a question for you. Alright, last aircraft, say your call sign again. It's the Eclipse Jet Teaser 2 Echo Alpha. Eclipse Jet 2 Echo Alpha, Orlando Approach, uh, say your request. Alright, uh, he wanted 250 at Piglet. Once we level up, we probably won't be able to do 250. You want us to keep the speed up as much as we can until we get there, or do you want us to go ahead and slow to 250 and then take whatever we get when we level out? 
to Echo Alpha, reduce speed now to 250 and then uh, continue the descent. All right, we'll uh, reduce speed to 250 for a quick check off. Do you want me to just connect the Autobot? Yeah, how do you, uh, you just press the button? Press that twice. This twice. twice. Yes. Two zero two Echo Alpha, depart Piglet heading one six zero. Depart Piglet heading one six zero, Eclipse two Echo Alpha. All right, we are at Piglet, so go ahead and turn your right turn to one sixty heading there. Turn right turn to one sixty heading there. Okay. Turn right turn to one sixty heading there. Okay. Turn right turn to one sixty heading there. Okay. Turn right turn to one sixty heading there. Okay. Turn right turn to one sixty heading there. Okay. Turn right turn to one sixty heading there. Okay. Turn right turn to one sixty heading there. Okay. Turn right turn to one sixty heading there. Okay. Turn right turn to one sixty heading there. Okay. Turn right turn to one sixty heading there. Okay. Turn right turn to one sixty heading there. Okay. Turn right turn to one sixty heading there. Okay. Turn right turn to one sixty heading there. Okay. Turn right turn to one sixty heading there. Okay. Turn right turn to one sixty heading there. Okay. Turn right Weird. Like, do we not have an airplane in front of us? One two zero one sixty four. At eleven thousand. That looks like there's somebody in front of us. How far away are they though? Eight, eight miles. Maybe we're just in trail. All right, don't bust your altitude. And you can do your best to keep us at two fifty. I mean, full throttle won't give us two fifty. Really. It's going to be close. Heading one five zero. There you go, that's so max continuous. Okay, so 150. Alright, we've crossed Piglet, heading 150. Hi, Bruce, on 676 out of 52 for 12 with whiskey. 0.15. Number 2 Echo Alpha, descend to maintain 9000, contact approach 120.15. Alright, down to 900,000, 120, 15, Eclipse 2, Echo Alpha, have a good day. Approach Eclipse 202 Echo Alpha is uh, 10,800 descending, 900,000 with information whiskey. Uh, 202 Echo Alpha, Orlando Approach, Roger, descend to maintain 7,000. Continue descent to 7,000, Eclipse 2 Echo Alpha. Guys, it's going to be pretty bumpy in the back. Don't forget you got to be below 250. Echo yep. Whiskey, descend to maintain 6,000, Connect Orlando Approach, 119.4. Or two echo alpha flight heading one eight zero vectors for your descent. Right turn one eight zero vector for the descent eclipse two echo alpha. Oh, I hit that little gap right there. Come on. I think we're gonna be on top of it. All right, there's your seven thousand level off. Right Signal thirty one sixty one Orlando expect ILS from one hundred left. Ireland. November two echo alpha descent of eighteen six thousand. Kind of land approach one one hundred point four. Down the six thousand one one hundred point four eclipse two echo alpha. Okay. Eclipse 202 Echo Alpha 6189. November 202 Echo Alpha Orlando approach D, Santa Maintain 4000. Continue descent to 4000 now, Eclipse 2 Echo Alpha. November 2 Echo Alpha turn left, head in uh, 130 to Santa Maintain 3000. Left turn 130 down to 3000, Eclipse 2 Echo Alpha. Did you still need us at 250? Two Echo Alpha, actually uh, reduce speed to 210, 210 on speed. Alright, reduce speed 210, Eclipse 2 Echo Alpha. Number one Echo Whiskey is 6 miles. Did you not want to do 250? Nope. I mean, you're, you're, you're burning so much more gas to go not much more faster. And we will eventually have to also get load down for the uh, get gear and all that. We'll have to be below 200. Approach 2 Echo Alpha, just confirming are these vectors for the ILS 15. 2 Echo Alpha, that's affirmative. Um, vectors for the ILS runway 15. Turn left heading 090, descend to zero, zero, descent, maintain 2000. Left turn 090 down to 2000, these are vectors ILS runway 5. So you're extending close to Echo Alpha. 2 Echo Alpha, 5 miles from Wazi, turn right heading 120, maintain 2000 until establish on the localizer, cleared ILS runway 15 approach. Alright, that's right turn 120, 2000 until established, cleared ILS 15 approach. I mean, Eclipse 2 Echo Alpha. Keep it above 165 until we get our first notch of flaps in our gear. We're going to do that as we get pretty close to the glide slope intercept. All right, and you're just got your localizer live. And your glide slope is live, but it's not not too close yet. Now, what is the gear and flap speeds? Uh, below 200, so okay. we'll, we'll be good. Yeah, just kind of anywhere in, in here. Is this kind of a good spot right about in here? Now you can get the gear in the flats. Okay. One two four point four five eclipse two echo alpha. Have a good day. And pull your throttle back. Yeah. Here and let me like take off the flaps and take off the flaps. Public maintain five thousand. Expect further clearance. One six. Now you'll slow to between one twenty and one forty. 
Uh, below 120, not above 140. Approach Eclipse, air correction tower, Eclipse 2202, Echo Alpha, last runway 15. Eclipse 2202, Echo Alpha, Eclipse tower, runway 15, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 15, Eclipse 2, Echo Alpha. Go ahead and get the yaw damper off. And get a little bit slower, I'll get your second notch of flaps. Second notch of flaps. All right, new speed, we're going to aim for ref plus 10, 100 knots. All right, we got gear flaps, yaw damper is off, safety items, everybody's buckled up, lights are as appropriate as daytime, so we're not going to fool with taxi and landing lights. All right, so your target's 100 knots. Yep. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take it back. I got the airplane. Your flight controls. 500. And one more time, we got gear flaps, yaw damper is off, safety items. Approaching minimums. Minimums. Alright. Gonna continue. Alright, we got pavement below us. Throttles are coming to idle. Very nice. Thank you. Beautiful. A really weird landing with a camera directly in front of my face, I will tell you that. Uh, two echo off, we're parking at Odyssey. Roger, you want a 180 on the runway? Uh, we can try that. If you don't want to, I can give you a left and we'll just, uh, taxi. Sure, we'll do, uh, we'll do the taxi, that'd be better. Roger, left turn Alpha 3 in uh, contact room. Left turn Alpha 3, go on to ground clips to Echo Alpha, have a good day. Number 202 Echo Alpha, just got a report that the uh, top of the highest highest point of the band for the Hurricane are flight level 380. Alright, 2 Echo Alpha, roger. Yeah, we're just, you know, obviously looking at the outer bands of the uh, Hurricane out there. and We'd like to stay clear of that if we can. 